Hey there, Clashers, and welcome back. Today, let's take a look at some attack highlights from Tornado Gaming and Champions 3 Clan War League. So as you can see here, they did manage to finish up in third place, and we're going to take a look at just a couple of my favorite attacks that they did from this week. Let's jump in. All right, here we go. Let's jump in with the first hit here from Mystic, and he is bringing in the Super Bowler Smash, some Electro Titans in the mix as well. Let's see where he's going to start off here. We do have the Flame Flinger down at the bottom side. And we've got the Warden over at 3 o'clock. The Warden's going to set the funnel. Flame Flinger doing the same down here at the bottom. The Flame Flinger can eventually work its way up towards the left side. And we got the Warden still doing his thing, of course. Trying to clear out this corner. And that way the funnel will be set. So let's go ahead and speed things up just a little bit here. Got to use the Rage on the Warden. Taking a lot of damage. And... The Invis Tower does go off. We'll put it back at 1x. Flame Flinger has done a pretty nice job so far, making its way up towards that eagle. Baby Dragon finishes the funnel. Wall is opened, and here we go with the Smash making its way into the base. Electro Titans in, Super Bowlers, King, and here comes a couple of Wall Breakers as well. There we go. Nice Wall Breaks. I guess only one of them did manage to open up, but he's got to jump into the core, so it's fine. This is the king's ability. Everything pushing in. Here comes the queen. It's going to be lagging a little bit behind, but that's fine. We got the lava hound out of the CC. Everything's still pushing along, and he's still hanging on to that warden's ability as well. Invis tower goes off once again here, as it did have a chance to reload. Next rage spell is down, and we have used that warden's ability now. But we do have the healers in the core, keeping those super bowlers nice and healthy as they make their way through. Flame Flinger did make its way through the eagle, and now it's working on. The multi, which the Super Bowlers helped take it down. So the flamer, the flamer, the flame flinger rather, is going to be able to get a few more buildings here, and then it's going to open up. We did secure the town hall on the top side. We got the RC coming in to help out. We got the poison there on the enemy king. And that queen, of course, being slowed down by the town hall poison. Bowlers still just chilling in the core, beating on walls, taking their time and getting through. We got the enemy queen over there. Friendly RC still trying to make her way around. Skelly spell on the top side to help distract those defenses as she makes her way in. And there we go, Queen following in behind, pops the RC's ability. Unfortunately, Wizard Tower went down just before she did pop that. But here we go, RC and Diggy making their way into these last few defenses. Drops the freeze. Super, or not Super Bowlers, but Yeti's out of the Fling Flinger. Working across the bottom side. RC gets through the scatter, gets through the cannon. Just a couple of defenses left. She does find a Skelly Trap there, it's going to slow her down just a little bit. But all that's left is the Archer Tower, and the Yeti Mites will be able to handle that. And it's a nice triple here from Mystic. And there we go. Alright, next attack we're going to take a look at here is a nice Blizzalalo here from Grimoire. And we're going to see the Blizzard coming in from the bottom side. And we can already see, look at the buildings that are just stacked right beside each other here. We got two Expos, Eagle, Monolith, two Scatter Shots. So this blizzard is going to be absolutely phenomenal. And here we go. Blimp makes its way in perfectly. Invis down. There's the rage. And here we go. Wizards doing their job. Taking down the eagle. Taking down the scatter and monolith. Expo is going to go down. There goes the monolith. Nice drop of the invis. Makes the king invisible so the wizards aren't getting distracted on him. And here we go with the last scatter going down. Plus we got a few extra buildings around everything. And notice... There's a hole in the base on either side of the town hall. And he's going to take advantage of that to uh, drop in some sneakies and take it down. So a few sneakies trigger traps, and they do trigger that top invis tower. Now the other one was already pre-triggered, and it's going to recharge. But we'll see how he deals with that here shortly. In the meantime, we do have the king and queen coming in on the right side with the RC as well. And he freezes up the invis tower, takes down the town hall with the sneaky goblins. So nice job identifying the hole in the base and making full advantage of that. But King, Queen, RC will work their way up the right side. And then here shortly, we're going to see the Lalo coming in behind the sweeper here on the left. So there we go, Lalo coming in. So he chooses to send the heroes for the multi and the enemy RC. And then the Lalo can take care of the single Inferno. And he's got a big group of headhunters he can use for the enemy queen. Finds that tornado here on the left side. Balloons making their way in. He drops in some headhunters. And here we go. We'll see the Warden's ability here shortly. Invis Tower going off again. Not going to be an issue. All the balloons are protected. And slowly making their way through. They do take out that Invis Tower on the bottom side. 
And the heroes actually didn't take care of the enemy RC. But we do have headhunters coming in. And there we go. Can they take her down? They do. So down goes the RC. We got balloons moving through the backside. He's using freezes to keep the wizard tower frozen here. As he is running a bit low on balloons at this point. But he's still got the queen with her ability. Still got the warden pushing through, of course. And just a couple of defenses left. Unicorn, unfortunately, does get picked off here by the Expo. Pops Queen's ability. And now the Expo is really the only thing that's left. Finds a Skelly Trap. That's not really going to be much of an issue either. And it's going to come down to the Expo. He's got a few buildings on the bottom side as well. But luckily, he's got some pups down there to help take those down. And we're going to speed it up as he's able to come away here with a triple. All right, next we've got a Zap Lalo coming in here. We're going to see the Zaps coming down here on the top side of the Town Hall, going for the Scatter, the Monolith, and the Expo. We'll see that coming in here shortly. And then from there, we'll see the Queen going for the Town Hall. There we go. Nice Zap value. we got a couple of big defenses out of the way nice and early. Baby Dragon on the left side. And Queen's coming in from the bottom. Got the King in there as well. Skelly Spell is in to help distract some defenses. So RC's going to go up the right side, take out some defenses, fight the enemy Queen. King's headed into the left, drops the Invis on him, pops the ability as he heads into the Town Hall, and freezes the Invis Tower. So Town Hall goes down. Queen's going to continue up the left side. And it looks like his RC is going to pop ability here. She takes down a sweeper, takes out the poison tower, which is huge. Now she's going to fight some skellies. She'll get some damage on the scatter. Can she drop it? One more shot after that, and there it goes. So very good value here from the heroes. Get some rocket loons out of the CC. They go straight to the poor unicorn at first. And they seem to switch and go to the queen, which is actually better. Unicorn stays alive. Looks like the king's about to go down, but here we go with the Lalo. First Hound is in, group of Balloons, Warden making their way into the base. Queen's got to go to Ability here, she fights the enemy RC, we got more Balloons on the top side, couple of Dragon Riders to help support, and he does still have the Siege Machine, looks like he's going to send the Stone Slammer from the top side of the base. And here we go, Lalo pushing its way in, we got lots of cleanup troops in behind as well, lots of red air bombs here in the core of the base, Balloons making their way into the Eagle. And we'll see that Warden ability here as everything kind of starts to split off towards the top and middle sides. And there we go. Nice Warden ability. Catches everything moving through. A couple of balloons on the bottom side. He's going to freeze up the Wiz Tower so they can take that out. Single Inferno also frozen here. Stone Slammer is going to open up with some more balloons and another Dragon Rider. Just a couple of defenses left. And it's a very strong Lalo here for Tornado Gaming. We're going to speed up the cleanup. And there we go. Very nicely done. All right, last replay here. We've got Totop coming in with Super Archer Blimp. And he's actually coming in with level one uh, Electro Titans. So we're going to see how that goes. Non-max witches as well. And uh, non-max heroes. So we're going to see how he takes this Town Hall 15 base down with a little bit of underpowered offense. But here we go. Blimp makes its way in. And we'll see how much value these super archers can get. Invis tower goes off. Next, Invis is in. Gonna we'll drop another rage as the other one is fading out. And there we go. They're going to be able to get the town hall secured. Drops in one more Invis. He's got one more after that one he can use. And we'll see if they're able to get the monolith. They do get the poison tower out of the way. And they do get the monolith. Scatter shot's going to finish him off. It looks like he's got a couple of balloons and an ice hound out of the enemy CC. He's going to have to deal with that. He's going to set the funnel here on the bottom edge. King's coming in with a couple of witches. They're going to clear out these buildings. That's going to help set the one side of the funnel. And here we go with the full army down the middle. Electro Titans help make quick work of these CC troops. Balloons going down. Ice hound going down. And here we go. King's coming up towards the left side. And Electro Titans will be making their way in. Now he's got a few small troops to try to set the funnel here on the far left. But we'll see. They'll make their way in, but they're not quite going to be funneled into the core of the base. But the King pops his ability. Still pushing his way in. He's going to take out the enemy RC. Multi's going to go down, so King's getting pretty good value here. Electro Titans slowly but surely making their way in. They do have the healers healing them up. 
And I think that's really key in this attack. King still taking a lot of damage. More importantly, tanking a lot of damage for these troops. Pops the Warden's ability. We got a Balloon going into the core of the base. And one Witch down there as well. So they'll help out a little bit. But this is what I was talking about with the Electro Titans not really having the funnel on the left side. Everything's just staying on the outside of the base and slowly working around. So what that really means is the Eagle is going to stay up for a while. Of course, the RC came in from the right side. She got some defenses down but gets zapped by the single. Electro Titan's still pushing their way through. Queen still has her ability. Once that storage goes down, though, they're going to be able to work their way back into the base. There's a wall break into the core. We do lose one Electro Titan, but the rest of them do follow the Queen into the middle of the base. First scatter shot's going to go down. Queen's still hanging on to that ability for as long as she can here. But the Electro Titans will be able to get rid of the single. Queen pops her ability, finishes off the Eagle, helps finish the single, and it's really all down to this scatter shot. He's got two Electro Titans left. He's still got the Queen, and he's able to get the triple done with his underpowered offense. Very nicely done here to Totob. And there we have it, some nice attacks from these guys. Here's their clan information up on the screen if you're interested in checking them out and potentially joining them. It looks like they are recruiting. But I hope you guys liked this video. If you did, be sure to hit that thumbs up down below and click subscribe as well so you don't miss the next videos. Thank you guys so much for stopping by and I'll catch you all next time.